What's up everybody? Thank you for joining me. I am Brian. This is the Gecko Lab and this is the Weekly Hatchling Report. So I have got some magnificent brand new hatchlings that just popped out this week to show you guys. But before we get into the geckos this week, I want to open a package. I got a box, a box of an envelope, a padded envelope, a very pretty one. My wife was jealous because she thought it was for her. And I was like, nope, that's mine. It's got my name on it. And then she was like, well, when you open that, don't destroy it because I want the bag. It's so pretty. Anyways, I got this from Strudy's. Strudy's is a company on Etsy that makes all kinds of crested gecko products, terrarium, housing things. I did a whole review on a bunch of their stuff. I bought a bunch of the stuff off their Etsy store and did a review on it. A lot of you guys saw that video. If you didn't, check it out in the description box below. But when I bought all this stuff from Strudy's, I did not tell them that I was buying things to review in a video. I didn't even use my at altitudeexotics.com email address because I didn't want to tip them off. I didn't want it to be biased. I didn't want them to send me something that isn't what someone else who's just ordering off their site would get. And that's what I did. They didn't know about it beforehand. And they were really appreciative of the video because it was a fairly positive review. I liked all their stuff and they reached out to me afterwards and said, hey, let me send you a like a thank you care package. And well, it showed up this week in the mail. So I thought we would open it up together in a video and see what they sent me because I'm real curious to see what else they've got to share with us. So let's pop this bad boy open without ruining the bag so I don't infuriate my lovely wife and we'll see what they gave us. First up, ooh, a bunch of little food dishes. These are all different colors. These are cool. They're about the size of a bottle cap, which is what I use in a lot of my cages. So these will be great. These are the perfect size for like a juvenile grow out gecko, a small sub adult, 10 to 25 grams kind of thing. I really like all the different colors, rainbow, red, purple, white, green, maroon brownish dark maroon very cool thank you guys for that let's see what else we got oh they sent me a letter we're including our hatchling bundle kit designed specifically for new hatchlings morning geckos or other micro geckos so basically they're saying that uh they notice i have a lot of morning geckos they watch my channel and they've seen i've got a bunch of morning geckos so they send me what they call their hatchling bundle which is products designed for hatchling crusted geckos morning geckos and other small geckos so let's check it out that's why we got the little food dishes which is awesome oh there's a whole bunch of stuff in here cool they have sent me Oh, look at this. So I had a bunch of commenters on my video say, oh, you should have got some of their spoons. They make these little mixing spoons for mixing up your gecko diet. So they sent me a couple of those. Apparently that comes in the hatchling bundle, as well as a shortened version of their spoon with a suction cup on it. So it's like a little sticky food dish. Perfect for little geckos. That's really neat. I did not remember seeing these on their store last time. Maybe these are a new product they came up with. I like it. Very cool. Those are pretty awesome. Let's see what's in this little one. This one is... I am not real sure what this is. What is this? They gave me a list of the products on here. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, I see. This is their... This is actually brilliant. I did not know they made this and I've never thought of something like this and this is brilliant. This is a water dish. Now I know you're looking at it going, how is that a water dish? Because I never would have thought this is a water dish, but this is brilliant. These guys made a water dish with what they call stepping stones in it. And this allows enough access between the stones for your geckos to reach the water and get a drink. But the stepping stones are close enough together that your crickets and other insects in your cage won't fall face first into the water and drown. For any of you that feed crickets in your cage, you know this can be a problem because crickets are about the stupidest creatures on the planet. And if there's a puddle of water big enough for them to stick their face in it and drown, they will seek it out and do so. This prevents your crickets from falling in your water dish so you don't end up feeding crickets in your cage and 20 minutes later having a water dish full of dead crickets. Brilliant. I wonder if they make a bigger size of this too. I'll have to check their site because if they make bigger ones of these, that would be even better for larger geckos. But this is obviously their hatching gecko pack, so they sent a little one. Awesome. This is 
I should have had this in my original review video of them. That's fantastic. Very cool. Here we have a suction cup feeding ledge. I wonder if these food dishes fit the feeding ledge. Um, they do look at that fantastic. A little feeding ledge that is perfect for this bag of little food dishes they sent me. Oh, my morning geckos are gonna love this. That is so cool. God, apparently I missed all the good stuff when I bought things off their site to do my review. I missed all kinds of good stuff. A fantastic little feeding dish there. Oh, this is so cute. So if you guys remember from my review, I did those bubble lofts that they had magnetic and suction cup ones, and it was like a bubble condo thingy. It's a little tiny version for little tiny geckos. Little hatched and crusted geckos would fit right in there. Morning geckos would love it. I bet the morning geckos will fill this with eggs too, which would be super useful for them. That is super cool. And the last little package they sent me. Oh, look at this. The same tiny bubble lofts, but the way that I like them with magnets. Magnetic bubble lofts. These are great because unlike the suction cups that will eventually not be so suctiony, the magnets never go bad. And they will stick right to the side of your cage for as long as you want them there. They sent me four of those guys. So I know they mentioned they threw in a few extra products, like extra food dishes and magnet hides and stuff, but Apparently, this is what you get if you order the hatchling kit from Strudy's. So check them out on Etsy. I'll put another link to their shop down in the video description. Don't forget to check that out because they got some cool stuff. Thank you guys so much. I love these products. They're so cool. I appreciate you sending that over to me. I am definitely going to use these for my morning geckos and other little geckos. These are so cool. Oh, I got some new little geckos that I haven't shown you guys yet that are going to love these right here. So keep an eye out for future videos. I'm working actually right behind the camera. I'm not gonna show you because they're not ready yet, but I'm building some new cages that are gonna have some brand new geckos in them. And I've already got a couple new geckos, new species I haven't showed off. So don't forget to subscribe for that. But all that aside, this is the weekly hatchling report. So let's get into this week's hatchlings. Okay, impromptu Strudy's promo video aside, thanks again for sending that stuff over. Let's get into the hatchlings. The first two I've got to show you are from my red white spot project. So this is my red drippy dorsal red and white pinstripe project. The first one that's up is a nice red quad stripe. Good structure on this guy. You can see that perfect solid lat going down. These ones are always a little hard because they don't look real fancy right out of the egg. They're ones that once you grow them up, they are jaw dropping. The trouble with these is you can never tell if they get that drippy dorsal trait until they start showing it when they're in the 10, 12, 15 gram range. So these are ones that I especially like to grow out. This one, however, definitely has that red base color. That lat is gonna turn white. You can see a lot of pattern under that lat. I expect this one to be really, really nice. I have high expectations here. The next one up, it's clutch mate, is a phantom pinstripe, a red phantom pinstripe. As you can see, no cream color, save for those two spots right above the end of the tail. But good structure, nice phantom pinning. You can see how droopy that crest right over the head is. Fantastic there. And again, the red base color doesn't look like much when they're this young, but I can tell when this one gets older. Neon red, absolutely beautiful. I love those ones. Next up, I've got a pair of hatchlings from a lily white bred to a couple Adam line females. Adam, I've talked about him, one of my favorite geckos from Cotswold geckos over in the UK. A few Adam daughters that I have here, I bred to my lily white male. And these two offspring come from that. The first one did not get the lily white gene. Shucks, but look at this harlequin. I mean, how can you really complain? Yeah, lily whites are nice, but this is going to be an incredibly high-end tricolor harlequin when it grows up. Big structure, floppy crest. You can already see that white over orange pattern. These ones grow up to be fantastic. And with that much pattern showing right out of the egg, the way the pattern explodes as they grow, this one is going to be a jaw dropper. And of course, its clutch mate is a lily white. Just look at those lats, that solid wall of white, the white crest the white tips on the big clumped up crest right behind the head, good structure, just an incredible gecko. I really love the results. This 
this trio that produces these babies, they are breeding together again this year because I love the results that we've gotten from them the last two years. I'm not breaking that grew up. They are going to keep going. Next up, the last one I have for today is an empty back line pinstripe. You guys know how much I love this empty back line. I think I love them more than anybody else, but this one we can all agree is incredible. Just look at this thing. That This is what I want from this project. If I could produce these every day, all day, I would be happy. Perfect, perfect empty dorsal, orange under white pinning all the way down the back, that empty dorsal all the way up into the head, perfect lateral striping, dark base color. This is the top of the line for this bloodline. This is what I want from these guys. This is as good as it gets. I cannot wait to watch this little one grow up. Absolutely fantastic. I love these so much. So that is the geckos I have to show for you guys. Not too many, like I said, still the slow season here. My next hatchling report, I think is gonna be a grow out edition and I've got some really cool grow outs to show you. So please, don't forget to subscribe. I got more videos coming all the time, more sales coming all the time, more cages, more new geckos, more care videos. I'm working on all of it. So thank you guys for sticking with me. I appreciate it. I am Brian, as always, Altitude Exotics, altitudeexotics.com. New geckos for sale every Friday, all summer, all spring and early summer this year, if not longer. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. Be safe, be kind. I love you guys. I'll see you soon.